I have seen many people saying William Ruto wants to sell the airport. How do you sell a strategic national asset? How can we take 14 airstrips and give them to an Indian company? Nobody knows the agreement and what has been signed. You have to be insane. What is it? Am I a madman? We have 5,000 employees with the Kenya Airports Authority and nobody knows where these people are going to go. What we want to do in the airport is to work under the PPP program. Public-private partnership has the potential to bring in private sector money blended with public, uh, public sector investment to be able to create an outcome that brings win-win. Your Excellency, how can we sell our airports? We must have the right investment for the airport. How can we take 14 airstrips and give them to an Indian company? Nobody knows the agreement and what has been signed. The airport is a strategic government asset, national asset. Let us not buy into fake news. You have to be insane. What is he? Am I a madman? JKIA was sold. It was not leased. It was sold. That's a done deal. Now, this is the Villager 254, Patrick. Why I believe JKIA has already been sold. And that's a gone deal. And it's a deal. That's a matter under the water. It's gone. Finished. The only way the government of Kenya can redeem itself is by paying damages. Because they, have, they will have to cancel this sale. This deal has to be canceled. It doesn't matter what you call it. I am a real estate professional. I have done real estate for how many now? Full time, 15 years. But I've done it four, five years before that. Now, when you enter into a lease, the landlord retains the mother title. You write a new contract called a lease because you are not taking the property, the whole property for yourself. So you enter into a lease and that lease is registered in the Ministry of Land. And a lease is anything that is five years plus one day. That's what the law says. Now, what is the difference between uh, what JKA have done and the normal leases that people have out here in Kenya? The difference is this. The government of Kenya <clears throat> is giving the land to JKA for 30 years. And remember, my people, it's not only JKIA. It is even Moi, it is Eldoret, it is Isiolo, it is everywhere more. Everywhere where we have airports, Adani will be running. So don't forget that. JKIA is the beginning, but it will touch all the other airports. So, JKIA, I mean, the government of Kenya will give Adani the title. How? They will have to transfer the title to Adani. You know why? Because 30 years is such a long time, Kenya will have to go through how many elections? six elections so most likely we will have three presidents if it is 10 year period and we may have even six up to six more presidents if they will serve one one part so you can't leave the title with the government when you have invested your money as an investor so it is logical that the title has to be transferred to adani so that in case the government want to revert they will have to pay adani the damages all right and honor the contract as it is so this is what is happening so the government of kenya will have to give him the title and change it into his name and adani is very very bright very smart indian man he will go and take that title he has the money but he won't support he won't finance this deal with his money he will take that title and charge it to his company called adani enterprises Adani Enterprises will lend Adani Group to come and construct the KIA Airport. So, you ask Adani the title, you say, I don't have the title. The title is with a lender. Who is the lender? Adani Enterprises. So, if the government wants their title back, they will have to pay Adani Group so that Adam, Adani Group can pay Adani Enterprises 
so that Adani Enterprises can release the title to Kenya. In either way, my people, we have lost money. And the president is lying. The reason the president is lying is because he, 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 he has already signed the contract. If he has not signed the contract, why doesn't he provide it to Senator John or Onyonka who has requested for it? So I believe the president has already entered because the president act very, acted very quickly. And I want to believe this contract was signed this month when they discover that the public has already known. So that either way, Kenya loses money. Because our president does not care about this country. He does not care about how we are losing money. All he cares is his welfare. And by the time Murkomen was being fired, I know he had, he had already finished this deal. That's my belief. That's what I know. If, they, if there is anything to the contrary, then let the president prove that. Let president say, whether I am lying. Cabinet Secretary, number one, said there is nothing like that. Only for KAA to come out and say there is something like that. Now, the president is on a defensive mode and everyone in the government. Let me tell you why I know JKA was sold. It was sold for three reasons. Number one, poaching. They want to give airport to a foreigner so that a foreigner is not scrutinized by the government. Why? To Take away all our animals in Africa. They will be passing through JKIA. Uh, our rhino, our elephant are in danger. Because, and our rare animals will also be taken away. Remember the time when a container was discovered with rare animals in Kenya? Rare breed? That is going to happen because that's what they want to do in Kenya. Number two, they want to make drugs accessibility to Kenya very easy very easy so Kenya will become a conduit of Africa in terms of drugs number three they want to continue stealing our minerals our minerals they will be going through JKIA and through more international airport why the government is not in control it is Adan who is controlling they will be, Adan will be in control of storage. They will be in control of what, everywhere. So they will store whatever they want to store there. Kenya will become a smuggling country. The last reason they want to take JKIA is so that they can control who is coming into Kenya. Foreigners will come into Kenya. Kenya will be flooded by foreigners because the airport is run by a private company, not the government. So for those reasons, President William Ruto is fighting so hard that Adani deal is not scuttled, is not messed, so that they know they have sold the country. When you sell JKIA, I don't care. You have sold the country. Look at Rwanda, the deal they entered, you know, with, with, with an Arab country. To construct a new airport and they will give them within that contract uh, 40 planes and the deal is only two billion dollars president i'm not an economist i'm a villager but i understand these things so guys we must keep on fighting for jkia whatever it takes thank you very much good day
queue to get inside JKA Terminal 1A begins all the way here and then meanders around and then all this way. This is probably several hundred people. That's insane. Hey, how are you? Okay, let me get to the back. Can I land to 40 as Sky Priority? Sir? Hey. <laughs> this is insane. This is mad. Where? Number Kupita Tafadali. Ati? Fiti sana. Fiti sana. That's mad. This is insane. Sir? Hi. I was about to ask, I've not seen a video of you about this here today. Sorry, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Hi. My mom, my auntie. Oh, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry? Yes, speak for us. I thought maybe I was going to Yo, this is insane. <laughs>